Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. And in this episode, we're gonna finally tackle the Elite Four. Something worth mentioning, though, is that if you want good healing items, they can be found here. Actually, the best in the game. We got full heals, revives, max potions, full restores. Yeah, they got everything. But it is a little pricey. Oh well. So I highly recommend getting any items you need before actually entering the Elite Four. Because once you enter, you can't come back out unless you win. So let's go inside and tackle the first Lorelei. Welcome to Pokemon League, I'm the Lord the Elite Four. No one can bet me with curves to add to Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be a messy when they are frozen solid. Yeah, she does kind of speak the truth there, because in this generation of Pokemon, if you get frozen, there's no way to get it out of it. Unless you use Ice Heal or Full Restore. Anyways. Or a Full Heal. Anyways, she's going to send our Dugong, which is a Water type. Here. If you actually press select, you can move around. I don't know if I've ever said that, but it's something you can do. So, alright, it's Thunderbolt to the face. That thing's gonna hurt it. And the derpy adore. Oh, look at that. It's so funny. And wow, one hit kill, critical hit. Dang. Yeah, off screen, I did get some levels. Everyone's roughly around level 44, except for Dynablade, because I really don't feel like Dynablade would be very useful here. Uh, except, you know, to be killed when I need to heal and stuff. But Cloyster here has very low special. So, it's not gonna survive. Actually, actually, that, that is fortunately. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so now he's gonna sound a slow bro. Yet again, doesn't have the best special. That's good defense, though. Yeah, it has moderate special. But, yet again, <laughs> Thunderbolts cannot withstand. Or this slow bro cannot never stand with Thunderbolts. Actually, can stand. <laughs> he's just withdrawing. He's like, man, I'm out of here. Look at that face, though. Look at that. It's just like, oh, oh, it's so funny. I love slow bro, man. He's like one of my favorites. He's like a hip hippopotamus otter. Thing. But anyways, he's been destroyed. And we get a little Fort 5. Oh, rad. That's pretty rad. As you can kind of see, I'm kind of wrecking face. Not anymore, because this Jinx is coming out of nowhere. This Jinx is powerful. It's an ice psychic type. Very rare, very strong in this generation. Dude, it's very good stab, so... Gray Fox is going to have come in here and flamethrower. And oh my gosh, Thrash, that's going to do like garbage damage, because you have really bad physical attack. Oh, rad. Okay, damage, but... Not for... The amount... Wow, I'm getting really lucky because I'm pretty sure that one I killed with just a normal hit. Alright, her last Pokemon is Lapras. Definitely her most devastating. So we're going to have to go back into Bony. Uh, Lapras has very good special and very good defense. Is very slow. And it's just like, ugh, it's a tank. Ugh. So let's try and launch Thunderbolts at it. Hoping to get a 2 8 kill, but I'm not. I don't think that'll happen. Alright, like, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll crud Blizzard. Come on, Bony, survive. Definitely don't get. It's taking Froze. Frozen. Mm -hmm, that hurts, okay. Oh, that's why I got healing items and stuff, so. So another... Oh, really? Okay, whatever. As long as you don't use the full restore. Oh, pfft, okay. Don't know why you couldn't just give me the extra hit. <laughs> Game, but okay. So we've defeated the first of the Elite Four. Lorelei. Uh, how dare you. Uh, I'm so mad you're better than I thought. Go ahead and hit. Yo, we got Pokemon. Okay, so we've defeated her. She was very easy, actually, for Bony. I kind of planned this team, honestly, around beating the Elite Four, so I'd have super effective hits on pretty much every single member, but, you know, whatever. Although I am pretty low level coming in here, but... Whatever. And Brock's squinty eyes? Are you Brock's brother? <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. I'm Bruno. The Elite Four, I talk totally different from my cousin who lives in Pewter City. I don't know. I put white weights on my Pokemon. Shouldn't that be, like, illegal or something? And no, sir, I will not grind down with our superior power. Okay. Hoo-ha, let us battle. I find that really odd that he says that. Okay. And yes, he looks like he's taking a <laughs> Alright, so Bruno specializes in rock, ground types, and fighting types. I have stabs to counteract both of these. So surf to the face, Mr. Onyx. Yeah, I really think Onyx's sprite in red and blue looks way cooler than doesn't yellow, but... That's just random opinions. Okay. So yes, the Onyx didn't have a rock of a chance. And so he's going to send out his fighting types now. Well, the cool thing about Nocturia is that I definitely, definitely feel like he can outspeed these guys, despite, you know, Nocturia being very slow, actually. I think it was all this Carbos I gave him. Never mind, I can't outspeed. Okay. Thought we were tied, but... Just, oh, man, I got... Seriously? They're just going to taunt me with an X to fend? you got to be kidding. Anyway, so Nocturia's gonna one-hit kill this Hitmonchan, though. 
because it's super effective and, as you remember, Sabrina was saying, hey, we beat up those punks next door, so your fighting types suck compared to psychic types. And indeed, Sabrina, that is true. So I'm going to send out Dino Blade here. Dino Blade is pretty much just going to be our death fodder. It's going to let us... Actually, I probably could take out that him only, despite it being so much higher level. But, oh well. We're going to use a full heal on Mithra Nocturia. Alright, so now that Paralyzer's gone, so now I can continue sweeping high jump No, just jump kick. Dang, oh, So much damage. Look at that. That's not even very effective. Whoa. I'm just going to get a quick attack, because I'm obviously just going to die. Poor Dino Blade. I really, I, I really should have used it a little bit more, but... I just didn't feel like it would be that useful, to be honest. Because Gray Fox and Dino Blade both are very effective, have super effective moves against the same type of Pokemon. When you think about it. So having a Fire type and a Flying type in reality, not the best combination. So let's just send out Octeria again. And we're just going to launch a Psychic at him. That's pretty much it. And I guarantee you can have speed while he uses an item. Why are you using X Defense, dude? I'm staying and launch some special. Alright, so yay, we've beaten his him only. Even though it took me a little bit longer because I wanted to get that paralysis off. Which in reality probably just waited till the end of the fight, but anyways. So he's gonna send out another Onyx. That sounds like a job for Cooper. Hard hard hard. We haven't been doing this for like the whole game or anything. I mean seriously, Onyx is a bad Pokemon. Not nearly as good as a right horn and right on. I mean right horn and right on really good moves and be frank, first gen they get, I think they get Body Slam and Horn Drill, which are just overpowered. I don't know, I just like it a lot more. I'm pretty sure the stats are better. Okay, so enough narking on Onyx and all. Bruno sending out the final evolution of the Machoke Machab family, which is Machamp. And whoa, four arms, and I really like that sprite. It looks really cool. I think it's going to be super defensive and really stinking strong and just be terrible and like the hardest thing to defeat so far. Nope. Not uh, anything like that. It's gonna two hit kill with psychics. Uh, I almost liked Machamp, but not really good when Bruno's using him apparently. It's all right. Hey, hey, level up, a little bit, a little, a level up. That's nice. And I'm being really unepic for the most epic part of Pokemon ever. It's Elite Four. But anyways, my job is done. Go forth, your fancy old challenge next. Doesn't even want to look at me as all ticked. Anyways, so in the third of the Elite Four is Agatha with the Lavender Town. Uh, what kind of Pokemon could she use? It's a mystery, I'm afraid. And yes, let's talk to her. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he must try to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for fighting. I'll show you how a real trainer fights. All right, madam. I had a thing for Oak, I guess. And yes, Agatha, she is the poison gym leader. People like to say that she is the ghost gym leader, but there aren't really that many ghost Pokemon in the first generation. And every ghost Pokemon that does exist is also poison. So that's where Mwok is going to come in here. He is going to obliterate her without even a second thought. Because Waka, plus really not that good defense Pokemon, plus the fact that the poison are going to get owned. Alright, so Waka can't actually hit this this bad dude is coming out here. So it could go into Boney or it could go into Nocturia. I prefer to go into Nocturia. <laughs> that spray still gets me. He's like, man, I don't got Look at his eyes. He's like, I'm watching you, man. Not great. Supersonic, hypnotic, and some kind of fresh. Oh, wait, we use psychic anyways. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Goldbat. You won't be accomplishing your goals. <laughs> Ah, okay, I'm just defeating the Elite Four without even, like, any effort. It's like, come on, it's supposed to be epic. And you're just not even putting up a fight. Come on now. And Wayne Hunter still looks really creepy. That's probably why they changed that sprite. My friend in real life has a shiny Haunter, and I want that so bad, he will never give it to me. Oh, so cool. Anyways, so... <laughs> He's gonna she's gonna switch in an Arbok for some stupid reason. I don't understand. Still gonna two hit kill and probably should have just slashed, but alone. So yeah, two hit kill Arbok. Arbok's never been like that cool Pokemon. In my opinion. It's kinda cool, you know. Snakes are cool and all, but why would you get a snake when you could have a rock snake, you know? You know. 
So yet again, his Haunter cannot escape his imminent demise. And is eventually going to have to get hit with a dig to the face. I really wish I had Earthquake, because Earthquake is like, super strong. It's like crazy. Crazy powerful, accompanied with Waka. Alright, so her last Pokemon is a higher level Gengar. And the one she starts out with, wow, level 60! That's kind of hard to defeat. But hopefully we'll get a crit. Didn't need it. <laughs> right. So yes, we have defeated three members of the Elite Four. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, how it went. I forgot the voice. Ah, whatever. Yes, indeed, we are a special child. Is she insulting us? You went, I say that old death decision. <laughs> I guess I'm using the same voice for everybody. Yes, we have defeated three members of the Elite Four. And yes, I need to revive a little bit. Uh, I guess we should bring a Blade back to life. Eh, don't want to be really any harm in it, so let's use one of our 11 revives and bring Dynablade back. Yay, Dynablade back! Alright, so now we're going to put Boney back in our party again, because the next person is guaranteed to use one Pokemon. And he always has that Pokemon for us, so let's just do that. Alright, so into the next room. The Lavender Town music goes away. It's back to the Indiglo Pack 2 theme. You know, it's like only like two notes. I still love it. All right. Oh my gosh, who's this vampire-looking dude? Ah, I heard that was on here. I literally fall. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical, mythical Pokemon. They're hard to hurt, to catch, and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, that's kind of racist. Your league challenge ends with me. Johnny. <laughs> oh, man. You, sir, are wrong, Mr. Lance, the Dragon Master. Because I'm going to kick your butt. Lance sends out his dra his Gyarados, which is not a dragon type, and is a water flowing type, so he's going to be obliterated by Bony Thunderbolt, just like all the Gyarados we have defeated before. So, yeah, having an electric type is very, very important in this game. Just saying. All right. So, can we get a level up? All right, yeah. Getting up in those levels, even though it really won't matter after this. Yeah, all right, so I was going to say I was Dragonair. Dragon types only have one weakness in this gen, which is ice types. And who has ice types? Well, none other than our Cooper. Ooh, get him! All right, so level 56, that's not terribly over level, but... Yeah, dragon types are four times weak to any ice move, so having ice attacks is kind of imperative to beating the game, in my opinion. So, all right. And since I don't really favor any first-generation ice types, I tend to really just teach Ice Beam to one of my water types or somebody that can learn it. So, yep, a two-hit KO is pretty cool. Alright, so... Uh, I thought I was gonna get a level up there. No, Gray's got... He, what is up with, like, people loving, like, uh, I'm this kind of trainer. I'm gonna have two of the same Pokemon! No, <laughs> oh, well, I don't really... I, just, I just don't get it. Alright, it's increasing its speed. Twice. Don't know why you did that, because you're going to lose anyways. Okay. And yes, so we're just destroying Lance's team without even a second thought. And oh my, he's sending out a Nerodactyl. Something that is still not a dragon type. And a whoa! That was a really stupid reaction to Hyper Beam, the strongest move in the game. Second hand to explosion. Explosion doesn't really count. So, the thing about Hyper Beam is, it takes two turns to recharge, which will be enough time to take down this Aerodactyl, if you ask me. As he can use the Hyper Potion, he still has to recharge, though. That's the thing about, about Hyper Beam. Oh my gosh, that stupid noise. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to max Potion, actually. Because I get the feeling the next Pokemon I send out is going to use Hyper Beam as well. So, using a max Potion will not be a terrible idea. So, alright, Aerodactyl goes down. Ugh. So we've almost defeated his entire team with Cooper alone. It's kind of what I was planning to start with, but oh well. Dragonite. Very powerful Pokemon. It's literally the first super, super pseudo legendary. And wow, that sprite looks really silly. I like the one from Yellow alone. <laughs> it's just like, I'm a charge of my nature. Anyway, so we're going to let Dino Blade die, and we're going to use a max potion on Cooper to heal 100% back. It's <laughs> so cheap. Okay, send a barrier. That's cool. I'm gonna toxic you. Up, oh, you hit me with slam. That's cool too. Bye bye, Dino Blade. Thanks for letting me fly everywhere. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but. Nah, I don't feel that bad. Okay, so Cooper, coming out here, go launch ice beams like no tomorrow. Dude, you're already faster. Unless you're playing a sweep, which you're not going to. What's the point of sending up agilities? <laughs> Alright, so just 
two I Wow, you were not a smart man. This you made this literally no fun. Like, seriously, this wasn't even a challenge. Nobody even died. Except Dinoblade. Come on, man. Come on. Hmm. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Alright. It sucks, still can't believe it. So, dude, why don't you look at me? I love my Pokemon last! You now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would be. Have you been here one more challenge ahead? You have to face another trainer. His name is Jimmy. He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League champion. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to have to defeat our long-life rival.